Giving puppies as gifts is a popular thing to do, and it's easy to see why. They're cute and adorable. In some cases, it could be potentially more harmful than helpful. Trey uh, has been working with VIP Pet Care, a mobile vet company, for about five years now. He is currently supervising and oversees the main flow of dogs per clinic. Of animals during Christmas and other holiday seasons than you do any other time of the year? Yeah, I would consider the holidays puppy season. Um, and generally they come from breeders too. We definitely see a spike in young pups and kittens too. So today I have here with me Cadence, she's my best friend, and she is getting a puppy for her son for Christmas. Yeah. So thank you for being here today. And my first question for you is, what made you decide to get a puppy for Christmas? Well, I've wanted one for a few years now, but I never really had the opportunity till recently. I decided to get one during Christmas to surprise my son and so that we all are home for this. For like the first few days, I wanted to make sure that we were all here to get like the out that initial excitement of having a new puppy around the house and so that we can get used to it. Okay. Okay, thank you for that response. And my next question for you is, have you done any research to properly care for and take care of your puppy? Well, no, technically I haven't really done that much research or any preparation at all. I kind of just got some like basic necessities that I think I would need, like puppy pads, but nothing really more than that. Um, I've owned animals in the past, so I really don't feel like I need to do a bunch of research. Um, it's going to kind of be like a learning, like work in process kind of thing. Like we're going to learn as we go. Dr. Hoff is a licensed veterinarian that works hand in hand with Trey in VIP pet care. Before working there, he worked with shelters for about 10 years and has first-hand experience with the trends happening during Christmas time. Okay. So, do you think that more animals are bought during Christmas time than any other time of the year? I do. Okay. And do you think that they are returned afterwards because of the owner's mistakes? I think a lot of them are because a lot of people get animals not asking the recipient whether they would like the animal. I think they get a lot of animals not thinking about what is the best animal for the recipient, and then the recipient says, I can't handle this, this dog's too big, this dog barks too much, this breed's not for me, too much, you know, there's a lot of factors there that people need to really investigate before they go jumping to get an animal of any type for a holiday of any sort. But yes, a lot of animals come back to the shelter shortly after, you know, within a couple months in my experience, you know, they find this unruly animal, they're not willing to train it, they're not willing to take the time to, you know, fix the issues and all that, and then they just give up and turn it back, and then, you know, here's the poor little dog, cat, lizard, whatever, back in the shelter for another go around. Yeah, it happens a lot. How do you plan on taking care of your Christmas puppy? So, at this exact moment, I'm not really sure. Of course, I'm going to be potty training it and make sure it gets the proper amount of food and water that it needs. I also plan on vaccinating uh, the puppy for all the recommended vaccinations that it needs. Where are you planning on buying your puppy from? Well, I plan on buying my puppy from a breeder because it's going to be a purebred and I don't want it to have any health complications. Like if it came from a puppy mill, I've heard about those places and what goes on, and I don't want to support like the animal cruelty that is happening there. So are you prepared for the added stress and to set aside time for your new puppy? Well, I really didn't take into the account of the added stress, but I think my son is going to be so excited and willing to help out. If he helps out even just a little bit, I don't think it will be that stressful. I'm also definitely planning on creating a routine for the day where my son can help out taking care of a of our puppy. This will also help take away some of the added stress from me, so as I won't be doing everything alone. I think with me and my son being home all the time due to COVID, the puppy will get more than enough attention that it will need. With all the information I gathered from my research and the information given from Cadence, Dr. Hoff, and Trey, you can determine that people need to be more prepared for animals that they can possibly be getting for Christmas. It's not just some casual gift that you can give somebody. It's a real lifetime commitment. It's just like having a child in the house. It's something that you have forever. You need to learn how to take care of it properly and be prepared to take care of it properly. Something you're going to love for a lifetime. And if you don't plan on keeping it, you should not put, go through the stress of having to return it again.